part 184 okay we will look at some more questions here again this part is for members see there is one ec2 instance and then there is a block store attached so what you have to do is take a backup of this one this evs you have to take a backup in a very efficient way so a says attach another volume and copy the contents that means i'll put one more stuff here and then copy the content here i'll attach this here copy it okay so the first thing will it work yes it will work but is it very efficient the number of steps to copy is high so at this stage we will park this b says that you copy the volume to a server that is running outside aws so this is totally crap solution the moment you take something out you have to pay money second aws wants you to be in aws environment so otherwise they will lose business they will never give you a solution that move it outside aws and then bring it back no okay and d says let us create a custom script to copy ebs file content to s3 yeah but how would you bring the data to ec2 or ebs back you have not explained that step so i don't agree with this one because it is incomplete so c says let us create ebs snapshot of the volume so this is a better option so why it is better because number of steps is less that's why it is efficient yeah, like it is simple to do and uh, uh there is no downtime of the application so your production can still be running when you take the snapshot okay and you can take incremental snapshot like every time you don't have to do full kind of thing okay but here we since we just want one time backup that means full stuff so incremental is provisioned or not provisioned does not matter so option c is the right answer where we would create an ebs snapshot of the volume see this next question they have one database okay and this database is inside one ec2 instance okay they want high availability if there is outage then also your system should be available so this guy says i will plug a load balancer here see load balancer you should use to balance load load balancer is like you know in your project you have team leads if there is only one person working on a project will you bring a team lead to manage that one person no right so here you just have one ec2 instance no? so why will you bring a load balancer okay see if you just have one car uh, and someone tells you okay i'll give you a secretary who will decide which car you will use today because you only have one car only no? so why would you need a secretary to make that call b says that you configure ec2 auto recovery to move the instance to another ez so what happens is your application goes down and then you say okay re boss tada tadi korte hobe let us put recovery move to a different ez and then migrate the application migrate the data this 
is not going to meet your needs no? this is not a good solution you are bringing application downtime which is not good so termination protection you know what is this accidental uh, termination of ec2 by mistake if you want to avoid that no then you use it okay it is similar to the use of condom you use it because you want to avoid pregnancy so here termination protection accidental lead deleting or terminating the instance you want to avoid in this case we are not talking about accidental we are talking about something really bad happens earthquake happens or uh, power outage happens so your ec2 shuts down we are not talking about an accidental solution we are talking about a disaster solution see what you will do now we are talking about mysql database no? so rds is there you use this option see you move into aws use rds so this is rds and uh, here you bring your database so it is easy to manage and how would you do high availability you enable multi az so if rds goes down in one az the other az is still up okay see why this question is asked in aws see you had a solution right you are saying i will go to ec2 instance put my database here this database this is sql server database i can live but what aws wants they want to scare you they will say are boss kuch bura ho gaya to kya karoge तो आप डर गए फट गई आपकी अगर फट गई तो आपको आपका पैसा पॉकेट का एक्सेस मिल गया एडब्ल्यू एस को तो डी विल सेव बस आप आर डी एस ले लो पूरा मैनेज करके देता हूँ आपको मल्टी एजी वी सब मिलेगा कभी भी डाउन नहीं होगा ठीक है तो आप बोलते अरे बस सही है आई विल टेक दिस आई पे मोर मनी बट आई विल टेक दिस so why i'm saying that people try to scare aws try to scare because see you already had just one instance and one database that means you are not running your production system you are not least worried about high availability this is a hypothetical scenario yaar tere paas ek gaadi hai wo kharab ho gaya to kaise jayega aisa chori hota hai so option c migrate to rds enable multi ec that is the right answer in this case okay see this next question they are saying you have event driven workload event driven means if i to take this action if i press a switch a light and fan will turn off turn on <laughs> that kind of stuff so here no we use lambda serverless dirt cheap it is like just like a two pesa per people dirt cheap so it is serverless and those things okay you only pay for what you use what is the disadvantage of lambda <laughs> premature termination what it will only last for 15 minutes if you take a boyfriend who is a two paisa per person they will last for 15 minutes only just like lambda see first i thought lumber yard ye ye sab banaya hua naam hai it does not exist but then i searched man there is something called lumber yard now they are saying it is no longer offered us okay we recommend open 3d engine so nobody uses it my service is stopped it is the first time in my life i am in working in the cloud world for 5 years now first time i heard this service okay so i opener now beanstalk you know why beanstalk is used you know right it is a compute solution for what web application See, if you are not building web application, forget Beanstalk. See, here we are talking event-driven. So why we will use Beanstalk? We are not talking about web applications. And EC2 is not required. See, EC2 is not serverless. We serverless is better for event-driven. अभी क्या तुम लोग भरोसा नहीं करते यार तो see this blog event understanding event-driven architecture using Lambda. you can pause this read this question how lambda fits event driven paradigm you read this okay this will help you 
so option c lambda is our answer so if you have not yet subscribed to so parts 182 183 is in the members area cloud kernel cloud ninja members can access those paid content